Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to is part two of our create your own Vim config file, VimRC thing that we've been doing. And today we're gonna work a little bit on plugins. Now let's go ahead and get what we created before up. Just bigger. Um so cd.config cd and vim cd init let's see oops typing is hard yep. vim init not vim okay oh I <laughs> forgot I'm not in my main system I can't just do my alias there we go and we're gonna go back to the uh, this is basically what our init.vim looks like right now and that means we're gonna have to create some files here so the basically the way plugins work are very simple they use plugin managers now there is a way to do, to use them plugins without a plugin manager I'm not sure how to do that yet maybe someday I'll figure it out um, but for most people you just use a plugin manager some people use bundle um, that's what I used to use you can use Vimplug, which is what I'm going to show you how to use today um, and people will ask well what can you do with plugins there's a ton of different things all the way from color profiles to autocorrect and copy paste and file systems and uh, nerd, nerd tree and all sorts of different things that you can do with plugins so we're just going to get a very basic start on this today so i'm gonna this this is the github page here um and I will link this in the description below. And it's very easy to install uh, Vimplug if you're using Vim or NeoVim. So I'm using NeoVim, uh, but it's basically the same process. So if we make a direction, make a directory here called Plugins, and then CD, and, and then go ahead and end them in, back into our in it that you know okay so what we're going to want to do here source tilde slash dot config slash nvim slash plugins slash plugins dot vim okay we'll have, to, we'll have to touch that here in a minute we can just go ahead and save that I think we're probably we will probably get an error, so we want to cd into plugins and touch plugins dot vim. Okay, and we want to in vim into the plot that and we're there. Now we want to over here uh go down here and where it tells you how to install so we wanted to um, I'm on nvim so we just need to basically just copy and paste this now you will need CURL installed I'm not sure if this VM has that or not we're gonna find out um, I really need a better terminal <laughs> okay so let's, uh, CD back to the home directory Oops. I hate using GNOME. I want a window manager so bad, but we'll <laughs> we want to do this in, in Ubuntu. So I'm sure we control C and back here and control. Oops, I'm going to have to. Yep, curl's not installed. So that's just sudo apt install curl. I'm going to go ahead and do wget and git as well. I don't actually need those two for this time, but future projects might recall it. And now we can go up here and do this. There we go. Now, I think that that might have curled into the wrong directory, but we'll see. Because it, it, actually it's going to I bet you we now have an nvim file. 
and we don't want an bin file. Maybe not. No, nope, good. Okay, so we can go to back into dot config and vim and uh, cd into plugins again and vim, vim into plugins.vim. Oh, it's because it's already open. Duh. You can just close. Okay, we don't want to close the whole thing, just. Ugh. <laughs> Alright, and then it tells you here that you have to put something in. Uh, your plugin file, or you can also put in 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 init.vim if you want. If you're not using the, if you're not sourcing things from different files, you can just go through it. And, so you're gonna need to start out with vim slash vim plugged, and then it has to end with uh, this here. Everything in between is your plugins. So we need to control C that and. So V and create some space. And then we need to call this and control shift V. Now that is um basically all you need it and then pl plug is installed. Now um you need to let's install a plugin. So we want to install Oh, let's see one of these we can just install. Uh, one that I can actually showcase. Yeah, we can go ahead and do this one here, I think. Yeah, we'll go ahead and just copy the whole thing. This will give us Nerd Tree. And we just put that up here. Okay, and then we want to do is we want to save this file, wq, and we just go we can go back into it and do we do plug install and nerd tree is installed success. I mean just quit quit out of that now. Um, I think the default for for nerd tree is control n. No, it's not. Uh, all right, so we're, I'm gonna have to go to my profile here. Uh, let's see here. Give me a second. Uh, let's see. You're not gonna be see all this, see this because I'm off cam camera. And I'm sorry about this. I should have had this up already. Uh, CD keys. Sorry. Uh, Vim mappings. Dot vim. Okay, so let's see here. And nerd tree. Okay, so I don't see nerd tree in my config. For what? Maybe I <laughs> might not even be using nerd tree in, in this config. I can't remember. Mm, okay, well, anyways. We should be able to do nerd tree. Maybe not. Okay, nerd tree? No. Hmm. Well, anyways, in order to use nerd tree, you have to set up the the key mappings, and I'm not sure where, where to do that. Let's go find us a different plugin to to look at. Um, what's a good one? Vim plugins. I will link to this uh, website here as well. Something that I can. I wonder if Nerd Tree actually get, will give me the. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have to make sure we have all this stuff here. I'm pretty sure we do. Um. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so we can just uh, get out of that and CD up a level. And then it, I'm missing my alias. And dot them. And I will eventually create a key mapping uh, 
um, like a specific dot vim key map thing. But for now, we'll just put this here. And then go back in and then see if control N works. Yep, there we go. See, that's what NVim looks like. And we just, you know, it shows you your, your file tree. That's basically what it is. And if we wanted to switch into a different thing, that just, you know, it's just that easy. That's what NVim looks like. Or not NVim, that look, that's what nerd tree looks like. Um, and, and like I said, in this, uh, on this website here, there's just tons and tons of different vim plugins that you can use and each one of them has documentation and stuff and this is where you find them all and how to impl to install them so like this is the airline themes that's what gives you you know cool looking bar at the bottom it's really easy to install you just install it with a with vim plug everything uh, everything you want to install is plug in pl plug install or if you want, if you if you deleted something from this, you do, you you delete it in the file, save it, and you do plug clean. If you want to do, um, if you want to update, it's plug update, and that will go through and do uh, go through and update all of your things. Now, once you've added some autocomplete, this will actually autocomplete for you. So you just hit you know the tab button, and it will show you some options for it. I don't have it installed quite yet. But anyways, that right there is Vim plugin, how you do plugins. Um, I'm not going to do go through and install a bunch of different plugins. It's just, you know, find the ones that you want and experiment. Um, I, I'm, I might do some videos on specific plugins later on, but that's how you install Vim plug and get started. Now, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you really like the channel, give it a subscribe. We will see you uh, next time with some more Vim stuff. Thanks for watching.